Okay, boys. Good luck to Fiji, the Marty, and to the Kangaroos. It's the second Here they come. At Wembley, a moment to savour for these players. Pass the trophy and on to the Hello Turf. Tournament favourites, the Kangaroos, they want to have a date with the Kiwis. Good take off the kickoff. And quite rightly, Simon Asiba has the first run of the semi final. One. It's on the last tackle for the Kangaroos. Kronk kicks across, looking for Morris, and a good take. In the end, Corabetti just decided to offload it. Bit of Fiji and Flamboyance in goal for Australia with Scott and Tamo there. North Queensland Cowboys represented here's Gallon. Robust as always, no, taken to oh. ground by Simon Asiba. They were roommates the first time Gallon played in a test match. Thurston the dummy! You talk about the famous English fan. The Thurston dummy is just as famous. And he gets a try here. And takes some space off Jonathan Thurston. And he said, if you're not going to come right up to me, well, I'm going to come to you and give you a palm in the face. Don't worry about what's happening outside me, mate. I'm the threat because I'm carrying the football. The show and the go, and it's all too easy, really. And here he is with the first try. But uh, Aaron Groom, there's plenty of fallen for the Thurston dummy in uh, his illustrious career as he converts the try. The crowd want to warm themselves with a bit of a Fiji chant again. And Simon Asiva oh. is crunched by Bird and Tabo oh. and loses oh. the ball. 20 out from the goal line of Fiji. Australia have had success on the left. Bird away to Inglis. Here goes GI. And it comes for Boyd. Boyd will score for the Kangaroos. This is the play the ball. You have a look at Greg out the back. He's looking, waiting for it to come. Then he overruns it. Greg Bird just tries to get that right arm free to squeeze the pass out. And when GI catches the ball, he's actually facing the opposite way. Turns and spins. Nose boards out to the side. It gets a little bit of an anti-climax, really, because everyone thought the play had stopped. But play on's the call, and Boyd he won't get an easier one. Just flirts with the in-goal area. Tater dummy half this time. Kronk is going to kick across for Morris. Here comes Morris. Here comes Colabetti. It's down. It's in the hands of Hayne. Still the last tackle. What a ball, Hayne. To Cooper. Kronk to score. I thought we called that Dean Farre's corner where he's thrown the pass. But Haynes' work there was pretty special as well. Came onto the line really well and finished it off. When you consider that Cooper Cronk, have a look at the work once he's put the kick in to continue to run towards where he has kicked it, realising that something, just something may happen. And then a real speculator from Jared Hayne. He didn't actually know. I don't think the ball was for Cooper Cronk. But Cooper Cronk runs right in front of one of the other Australian players and just somewhat runs onto the football. And uh, Thurston lands the conversion. <laughs> 15 away from the line, the Kangaroos with Cooper Cronk to the right with Thurston, the shape is great at Inglis, and then on to Hayne, and uh, Hayne, well, he's tried to put it down, he has got it down, Jared Hayne under the attention of three defenders, they won't even send it upstairs. Have a look at the shape and the depth and all the angles of the players working, two block runners, three a third from Sam Thiday, and then a short ball from Greg Inglis. Four Fijian players to deal with at the line, and somehow, somehow Jared Hayne decides it's my turn to go in here. Pushes towards the line, of course he's got good body strength, all arm tackles from Fiji, and just gets it. And again, it's our weighted possession that tells again on the Fijian line. You know, too often now, they're giving away cheap penalties, coughing up possession early in the tackle count. Jared Hayne, the 2009 Player of the Year. Darius Boyd, Origin, Grand Final winner, Test player. And now Thurston bangs over another conversion. He had the overlap. If he promotes the football bear, I think it's another try for the Australians. But they did well there, Fiji, to hang oh, on. Oh, loose. Oh. Corabede onto it, but uh, Hartman, oh, yes. Corabede's over the side and they kept it alive, miraculous, how'd they do that? Millard ends up with it. Amazing play there from the VGN. A superb test match, as now Sims on to Groom, big show of the ball out to the right, Kevin Nagama onto his brother, Wes is almost away from tape, play almost away.
and uh, not able to offload, but a quick play. The ball is good, and off goes Smith. He'll burrow over, but uh, hasn't managed to get it down. Tarek Sims has got his arms under the ball. Men on the floor, dead Marines on the floor there, and, and off goes Cameron Smith. He spots it straight away, but well done to recover. They did very well to recover that and defend that. Fide Kronk, and a short pass. Now there's trouble. Just Papali has been on. I think only a matter of seconds. He scored on the boo against VG in St Helens. And now he scored against VG at Wembley. Nice double. Close to the post. Sam Fido, what a dummy half he is. Knows to duck out, take a couple of steps and hand it on to Cooper Cronk, who finds a Josh Papali. Fresh legs up against some tiring defenders. Coruscant, low tackle needed. He's mistake free as well. And there's plenty of offloads in this game, subtleties that you don't pick up and works through the middle. It's been great. We saw some of his calling the last week against the USA. I won't let him forget oh that. Oh boy, off. there's trouble. Straight to the centre. Boyd is on the tarmac. Cues up another play to support that Thurston's lost it. Thurston knocks on. In this uh, first half of footy for the Kangaroos. Loose ball. Australia will get one last chance. And quickly along, Gallon and Cronk. And it comes for Hayne. Hayne will spin away. Corabetti is chasing. Hayne gets there for the Kangaroos. And that hurts. That hurts big time, the Fijians. You know, I've been on the bench. You want to come on and make an impact. You probably want to do it with a run or a tackle. But a tip-on can be the play as well. You're absolutely right, Daryl. And again, we see the quality of Jared Hayne. We saw it last week against the USA, the amount of damage he did down that right edge with his footwork. And again, he just stands up his opposite man. Great feet. This time takes him on the outside and then burns him for pace to finish over the trial line about 10, 15 to the right-hand side of the upright. First to put an exclamation mark, if you like, on the first half of the Kangaroos. Mission accomplished, first 40, 34. So Australia with Parker. Oh, Thurston, do they put Great that on the line? Yes, they do. Bakuya on Thurston. That oh, look out, Sims. Sims is a, he's, he's been he's been mouthing off for a few plays now in back play, Sims. He's been looking for this. You don't like my moustache? We'll cut this. Bakuya on Thurston was solid. Solid shot there for Bakuya. Then Sims came up with a late tackle off the ball. Let's see if the high shot picks it up. It was on Parker. Yeah. They used to be teammates, you know, at the Brisbane Broncos. And Australia will go in search of their, their first try for the second half. Smith up. Croc inside. It's Tamo who's on the inside. He may have lost it. James Tamo, now they say try. Silverwood doesn't check it. James Tamo has his first try at the World Cup. First off swirl with Greg Inglis on the inside running the line. Just happens to be big Jimmy Tamo. For Australia, Thurston only the one missed today. So he's back in kicking form. He's blocked our cameraman as well. Now 40 nil. 19 into the second half. Cronk and Thurston still no Cherry Evans out there. Tate onto the ball. Tate away and away goes Boyd. Well he walked a tightrope. Well, he ran a tightrope, didn't he, down the sideline. The postman would deliver. Look at this, Brent Tate. Just perfect timing of the pass. Sprints at Uate. Just holds him up a little. And no, Boyd's got good wheels as well. And the great lines are running as well. Lead lines out the back. Obviously, he goes out the back there to, to Brent Tate, and he just gets on the outside of his man, Nagrama, and feeds Boyd. And what a finish from Darius Boyd there. As a Thurston from 10 in from touch. There's the right to lift. Thurston bangs over another one there with Millard. Now Smith takes off backwards, if anything, and then finds a straight runner. And Hayne has a hat trick. Hayne scores and becomes the leading try scorer at this World Cup. So Australia have hit 50. Well, who would have thought Jared Hayne would play the role he's played for Australia when he left the shores of Australia for this World Cup? Beautiful little angled run. In behind, players on the outside for Smith. Provided by Hain. Does the damages. Jonathan Thurston continues to keep the scoreboard ticking over. This is a big chance. They haven't been down this end in the second half at all. Fiji. Groom sets it up for Miller. They're nice and deep. The Gama came into the line. And along it comes. Ran, ran, ran. Oh, the defence gets across and it's solid. There's going to be no easy passage from the Kangaroos. They are 
a side on a mission here. This is a typical run, a real Fijian style body shape straight at Australia to try and propel himself over. He was put out of the way, wasn't he? Ended up over the sideline trying to tackle Ran Randra there. Gallon, nice little offload away for Smith. And then Hayne has got oh, another Hayne. run. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. He's decided to offload to Morris. Well, we had the Olympics here not too far ago. Hayne might have given Usain Bolt a run for his money off the start. And it doesn't look like it's on the ground. It touches the flag. So if we just go to the front angle again. That's a try. Right. So it's going to be confirmed. The uh, corner post interpretation comes into play, and Brett Morris adds another to his tally. First and from the sideline takes it back a good 27 metres. Sinfield doesn't take it back as far, and Thurston, wonderful, wonderful kick at Wembley. Right side, Groom is going to try it and send it, but it's the uh, it's a long short kick. Oh no! And Inglis is onto it. Hello, Inglis is say, look at the carry. A big GI, he's turned them around again. Oh. Inglis, Inglis, oh. Inglis is tackled. Store or rather, uh, the halfback. Groom got across there to make the tackle. Smith, oh, try and stop for Fida. Bounces off the upright and scores. Andrew for Fida. Once they bring the ball into the middle of the field, a straight run from Fafita from 15 out. I reckon he knew he was going to score as soon as he got the football. He was running that hard. Lovely play. One way, then the other. Not the first try we've seen Cameron Smith offer on the inside. One to Hayne just a minute ago. Now for Fafita. They said they've just given themselves too much to do. And you know I love the stats. Told you when Thurston scored the first try. Last time they played in the World Cup semi, how many points? 24 points. He's just landed another goal. For 24 points, he's now scored 10 goals and a try. Jonathan Thurston. Australia defeat Fiji in the second semi final. 64 points to nil. 11 tries and 10 goals. And so it is that Australia will play New Zealand in the final at the 2013 Rugby League World Cup.